So I thought I'd share this because um, this is a message that came through, I can't remember what video, um, or if it was a reading or what, it, what but um, I remember saying something about, you know, like, you know, how, how to be right here, right now, you know, using the past as a tool um, and, you know, planning for the future and, but being right here, right now, being grateful for what you have right here, right now. So because of what cards flipped out with this um, gateway deck of all decks, um, I was just going to do that one, but then I was pulled to, um, called to pull a gem oracle, um, and the one that flipped out, I'll show you after I show you these cards that are from, and three, three flipped out together and I'll show you them in order. So, I, so I, uh, pulled from this deck first. And so when I finish finished finished shuffling <laughs> what was in what was in my hand and how it ended up was starting fresh. And this is, I'm showing you because it's significant to the three cards that dropped out. So, starting fresh. And you can see the yin and yang, okay? Yin and yang. Feminine, masculine. And the top card was planting seeds. Starting fresh, planting seeds, okay? It was all about the future. And when I cut open the deck, it um, revealed <laughs> revealing radiance, which is a big giant pearl and it keeps coming up. This time it was embarking on a new adventure. Okay, so that also is future related. I savor the wonders of the world. Okay. So starting fresh, a wonderful new beginning is blossoming in my life and planting seeds, seeds of grace. Oh, I didn't even read the card. <sighs> oh, and this little bird I never noticed before, or maybe I did, but I can't remember. It's blue on the top, red on the bottom. Okay, the blue and the red, that's masculine and feminine. Together, they create the violet, the highest vibration. So seeds of grace are being planted in the fertile soil of my soul. Okay, and I don't know if you can see that little, yeah, that little bird there. See, it's red and blue. A little bit of white, even, like, in between there. So, um... Planting seeds and starting fresh and embarking on a new adventure. But when I cut open um, off camera, it was revealing radiance and it's a big giant pearl. Um, let me see if I can find it. It comes up a lot. Um, embarking on, a new, on an adventure is right next to taking action sandwiched in between taking action I enthusiastically embrace life's boundless possibilities and then manifesting dreams my dreams are coming true so right in between manifesting dreams and taking action okay we open to embarking on an adventure um, so anyway but re oh here it is right here So three cards back from taking action. 
So four cards back from where we opened up. So there you go. The oyster opening up and revealing all pearl, baby. All pearls. <laughs> My light illuminates the world. And expecting miracles was right behind that. Miracles are blossoming in my life. Another blossoming. Okay, that word blossoming. And then proceeding softly. My inner power grows in moments of quietude. Okay, so that's sandwiched in between those two. So, but starting fresh and planting seeds. That was the top and bottom. Starting fresh was on the bottom. Planting seeds was on the top. So, it's, it's all about... This future that lay ahead, my friends, it's um, it's going to be good because these are the three cards that dropped out in order. Hello, this is what we've been talking about, folks. Awakening ancient wisdom. How do we do that? By returning to self, to source, God's love, that holy grail, that that eternal flow of perfect love. That's how we heal. That's how we, all this, <laughs> all of it. Okay. Awakening ancient wisdom. Those are the tools. Those are the keys. That is the path. That's the journey. Um... Oh, and I'm going to have to show you in a synchronicity. I, I, I've got to write them all down <laughs> so that I don't miss any because I kind of want to put them all into one. <clears throat> but all paths leading to the same righteous point, um, connecting points, is this agency that I'm working with. Oh, God. Anyway, so that'll be for another video. But so ancient wisdom, okay, awakening ancient wisdom. The next one was healing the past. Okay, um, so a awakening ancient wisdom, deep inner knowing, <clears throat> deep, excuse me, <clears throat> deep inner knowing is emerging within me and then healing the past. I step into my future with strength and clarity. Okay, and look at the next one, embracing the future. This is why I had to share this because it's like awakening this ancient knowledge okay this ancient wisdom that's how we unlock okay that we get the keys to unlock the toolbox okay to in order to heal the past then we that gives us the clarity to be prepared with this strength to step into the future and um what I just saw was this kind, and this is very much green and gold. Okay, hello, very healing. Um, and this is, you know, the gold chalice, green and gold, very healing. But this looks like what wheat, wheat, what wheat looks like, right? The braid. That golden. Okay, um, when it's golden, it's when it's ripe, right? So, and then, so that says, I step into my future with strength and clarity. And this embracing the future card says, I step into the future with an open heart. So, clarity will give us strength and an open heart. Okay, the courage. And that's an angel card that when I did a personal angel card reading for myself, Hanael with courage flipped out. Um, I can't remember the other ones. I'd have to check, but I remember that's the one that flipped out. And then I stopped and I looked at the top and bottom and cut into it once or twice. And okay, so, but Hanael with courage. Okay, so this is how we do it. Um, we have the tools. We were given the keys to unlock that toolbox that holds the ancient wisdom. Um, 
all the wisdom, the knowledge that we need to get through anything we need to get through. See my nice spiky hair? Yeah. <laughs> it's bedhead and hat hair in one. It's pretty cool. I got my medicine and sesame oil mixed together. So yeah, we're doing, we're doing alchemy over here. Baking soda cleanse, which went really well. So that's a good sign that there's not too much more gallons left in me, but um, I, I am dealing with the psoriatic arthritis, which is pretty severe, but that I believe will eventually go away once my system realizes that there's nothing, um, you know, just traces. For me, that there's the, there are traces that keep coming up, traces of healing the past, okay? So if there's anything imbalanced with your emotions or your body, your finances, or anything in your life that's imbalanced, okay, there's, there's still some healing that needs to be done, okay? A little bit of growth. See how this is still kind of, it's green, maturing and growing, okay? That's how we grow is through healing, and that's how we heal, through growing, <laughs> maturing. So the green wheat, you know, once it's ripe and it's golden, okay, so green and gold, very much related And then we have green and gold in here, but then there's also the violet, okay, which is also on the back of the card there. Okay, and then you see the father, the son, the electric, the masculine, and the feminine, the water, the mother, the magnetic, okay, and together. We make, you know, the, that red and blue, we make that high vibration violet. Okay, so... Again, the green, the gold. So here's that doorway, you know. The difference between opening it and walking through and being on this side and being on this side is just courage. The courage to delve into the past and heal it so you can grow, you know. But you can get growing pains and, and like it can be scary and painful you get hair and spots where you're like oh my god i have hair in my arms and on my funny spots and <laughs> so growing can be scary it can be painful um but you know with that comes more knowledge and and wisdom um which gives us more ability more ability to um, coping skills, one of them, mainly, um, being able to, you know, have that self-restraint and monitor our own thoughts and emotions and actions and self-reflect, so, um, oh, and, and speaking of self-reflection, -re this card, and very interesting, okay, healing the past because this, the green and gold, okay, chrysoprase, is so criso means gold and and praise is like the word praise right okay this is pisces which was at the center the high priestess was at the center core of a personal twin flame reading i uh, did today for myself which is a two the high priestess and so that's why i say high priestess but um See how it's a two and it's also Pisces, so it's related to that, and that was at the core of my reading. So, Criso, Christ is golden. That's why it's the golden consciousness, because Criso, like Helio Chrysum is sunflower, okay? Chrysum, Christ, is gold. Praise sounds like praise, but it means leak. And if you think of leak, uh, leaks are green. Okay, which by it's chlorophyll that vibrates probably other things too, but I know that chlorophyll vibrates to the love vibration of the five to eight hertz. Okay, so this it, it's it's no accident that all these cards, um, that's why I was guided to share this because of the significance also of the crown chakra here, okay? Awakening that ancient wisdom, there it is right there. Okay, and one way we get there is through this 
non-physical death, you know, death of the ego while we're, we're st still here. This is the, the asana right here is um, the corpse pose. Um, so we have Pisces, Chrysoprase, 20, which is a 2. The element of water, crown chakra. That's the Sahasrara and the corpse pose. So the corpse pose, the corpse pose is very much being um, wide open channel vessel, okay? You're like this cup, okay? Wide open vessel for God's love, this light which is love, which is truth. That's all the information that you need to be gathering. So, you know, it's kind of like that song, I can gather all the news I need on the weather report. Ah, you know, I think that's Simon and Garfunkel or, but it's like, that's all the news you need is the love and light of God, the truth of God, the wisdom. Okay, it's not always, you know, there may be a lot of healing from your past past lives, this the past of this life. So, cycles of lifetimes that things need to be healed. So it's not just always, you know, beautiful candles and incense and, you know, sweet grass and sage and crystals and, you know, crystal price. It's beautiful, but it's, it's more than that. Sometimes it's painful. So it's, you know, uh, this, this, uh, death process that we, it's kind of like a death while you're living this whole process, being reawakened to this ancient wisdom, healing the past, embracing the future, starting having the courage and strength, the clarity, being courageous enough to receive clarity when you truly want clarity, when you know that nothing else will do. Okay, and the Crystal Price is all about that. So let's um, let's see here. Yeah, Savasana is the corpse pose. Sav Asana. So, um, it relates to the common or greater good, talking about being egoless, okay? Also, that's what I was saying, like this death because of the relationship with the, um, the asana, with the yogic pose. Um, you know, we have to have this ego death and balance all this karmic stuff heal that's a big part of healing too is karmic balancing so um the repercussions of karmic balancing um self ref has to do with self-reflection it's an emotional rationalizer chrysoprase also helps you to be fearless and anxiety free okay the the courage okay strength and courage so that relates to that as well um, optimistic. So let's see if there's anything else here. Yeah, instead of acting on waves of emotion that can be destructive and egocentric, we need to be able to dominate our emotions, like what I was saying with the self-restraint, okay? Not, not, um, stifling your truth okay but like that seven of wands one of the readings i did it, it's like speaking your truth but doing it in a way that you want to be received and heard and have it be efficient and effective right um so we have to make sure we know our audience or you know just you got to say it in a way that's going to be received so I mean, unless the, your point is just to vent and rant, then, you know, by all means. But if you really want to be heard, um, <clears throat> saying it in a way that um, is constructive and not destructive or egocentric. So, you know, just acting on emotion, you know, take that time to breathe and, uh, you know, come back to center. 
So karma, the car, the common greater good, repercussions. Okay. Uh, yeah, it helps us to not be overwhelmed by our emotion. So emotional rationalizer. Yeah, it really helps us to balance our emotions and not just act, react basically. Um, sometimes there's a time for that though, you know. Sometimes there's a window and you need to seize the opportunity. <clears throat> but, you know, for most day-to-day -day life, we need to, we do this a lot, right? We have to be patient when we're waiting in line and all kinds of stuff. So there's a, a there's self-restraint that comes into play on a daily basis. Yeah, because it said the action must be studied and reflected upon. Yeah, instead of just reacting, <clears throat> you know, take a minute, breathe, you know, think about it for a second. And you may still arrive at the same, what your initial, initial response was going to be, you know, but if we want that clarity, right? Clarity is what gives us the courage to move forward. So as long as we're clear... Like I said, it could be your, it could still be your same first initial gut instinct response that you arrive at, but at least you did the due diligence of, you know, breathing and counting to 10, <laughs> whatever you need to do. <clears throat> so let's see. Um, yeah, thinking more about the common good, the greater good, instead of our own self-interest excessively, you know, we have to think about it sometimes. Yeah, excessive ambition will not take us far. Um, yeah, think about what triggers us and how we react to that. Get some perspective on that. Um, yeah, self-reflection. Are we aware of the results of our actions? So, so yeah, let our emotions be our allies. Okay, if they're balanced with our rational side, they can be our allies instead of our enemy. Enemies. All right, so, um, yeah, and that's Pisces, like I said, and that's my twin's moon sign. It's Pisces moon, so there you go, guys. It's a beautiful stone as well, very watery. Okay, so, um, again, very much masculine, feminine balance because this is water. And crown chakra um, and with that ancient wisdom and knowledge but it's very much like okay we have the yin yang here we have the planting seeds we have the water we have so it's that little bird where'd it go yeah right here the, the red and the blue so um, yeah just wanted to share that I hope uh, some of you guys got something out of it um i just thought it was pretty significant because it, it was a message that already came through with the, about the past present and future and since all those three came out together like that and in that order um you know I, after i saw that i was like okay well then i will pull a gem oracle as well and they all just flowed together very nicely so, um, yeah, this is almost like red and blue together. It's pink and blue. Pinkish, more pinkish than red, but, um, beautiful, right? All right, you guys, I love you all. Peace be upon you all and blessings to each and every one of you.